Hello and welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. My name is Sam. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. I'm going to be leading you through a vinyasa flow for confidence. For today's practice, I have taken a collection of some of my favorite poses that make me feel really confident. And for me, a pose that makes me feel confident in yoga is something that feels really long and strong and grounded and very secure. So those are the kinds of poses that I've brought into today's flow. But honestly, because we just are trying to cultivate a sense of self-confidence within ourselves, if there's a variation of a pose that you wanna take that I'm not doing that makes you feel great, then definitely you can do that at home. This is a very flexible flow, so you can definitely do what you need. Uh, you will need one block for this practice, so make sure you have one of those handy. A book will actually work in the case of today, just something that you can hold out in front of you really is what we're gonna use this for today. And I would recommend just wearing your favorite comfy clothes, your favorite yoga outfit, whatever you've got at home that just really makes you feel good about your body and good about what you're wearing. So really focusing on confidence today. And we are gonna start in a seated position, any position that feels comfortable to you today, but just make sure that your, your sit bones are in contact with the floor. So you could be cross-legged like me, you could stretch your legs out in front of you, you could be against a wall even, whatever feels good. And then you can just let your hands relax on your knees, sitting up tall and gently closing your eyes. Just getting acquainted with your breath flowing in and out of your body. Feel that in every inhale, we're growing tall. And then with every exhale, your shoulders are melting away from your ears. So we're also gonna take today's practice to focus on opening up the chest and the heart so that we can stand tall and proud and confident. And we'll continue with this image of growing tall through the spine on every inhale, but we'll add to that image by imagining that there's energy from the earth that's pulling up through your sit bones into your body with every exhale. And then it's resonating throughout your body on the exhale. So we're drawing our energy from deep into the earth. And literally imagine that energy traveling. So wherever you're, you're practicing this right now, maybe you're on the second floor of a house or maybe you're in a basement. So imagine, using the example that you're on the second floor, you can imagine that that energy is traveling from the earth up through the foundation of the building, through the structures, up into your sit bones and supporting you in finding that tall spine and finding that length. So play with your imagination here. Feel Mother Earth fully supporting you, giving you energy We're gonna take five more breaths here, and I'll invite you to repeat this affirmation that we'll reintroduce and continue repeating throughout the class. And today's confidence affirmation is, I am strong, grounded, and sure of myself. I am strong, grounded, and sure of myself. I am strong, grounded, and sure of myself. So five more breaths with that affirmation. You can repeat it out loud to yourself or in your head. I am strong, grounded, and sure of myself. completed your five breaths, very gently opening your eyes, coming back to the space around you. Now we're gonna take all of that energy and confidence that we've cultivated and take it into 
our movement practice. So the first pose, you're just gonna take the soles of your feet together, making a butterfly shape, inhaling to find that nice long spine, exhaling to curve forward, pulling yourself farther into the stretch here. So this is an active fold. Feel your hips opening, your knees falling closer to the floor. And let's inhale up. We're gonna do that one more time. Exhale, fold forward this time. See if you can go a little bit deeper. Taking a couple of breaths. And we'll inhale back up to center. Bring your knees together. And if you're not already facing the top of your mat, you can make that adjustment like I am here. And then just use your hands to push your knees forward, finding a little toe squat here. So your toes are tucked underneath you, sitting on your heels. If it feels like too much, you can take a block or a cushion and just place it between your heels and your glutes so that we're not resting so much weight onto those feet. But otherwise, we're settling in, inhaling the arms up overhead. We're gonna exhale to twist to the right. Inhale, take it up. Exhale to the left, inhale up. You can continue to feel that energy from the earth supporting your feet here as we exhale right. Inhale center. And as it starts to get a little bit more challenging, we can say to ourselves our affirmation, I am strong, grounded, and sure of myself. Once more on both sides, we're gonna exhale to the right, inhale to take it up, exhale to the left, and we inhale up and we'll release the hands forward, release the tuck of the toes, maybe tap the tops of the feet against your mat. And then I'm just gonna scoop back on my mat a little, my mat a little bit so that I'm center. And then we'll take it back to sit on the heels once more, but you can relax your feet underneath you. Grabbing a hold of your block or your book, you're gonna grab it on either side and take that block and extend it out in front of you. So we're gonna engage through the upper back a little bit, feeling our shoulder blades protracting and retracting behind us. So you're gonna take, keeping your block in front of you, not gripping it too much through the hands, just placing it between the palms. You're gonna take your shoulder blades and pinch them together behind you without lifting up through the shoulders. So keep the shoulders down away from the ears. The shoulder blades just trace back towards one another, and then they'll push away from you. So that block is going farther away from you as your shoulder blades wrap around your rib cage. Again, let's take an inhale to pull the shoulder blades in, and exhale, reach that block far away from you. Again, inhale to pull in, feel your belly engaged here so that we can maintain that long spine. And we exhale, shoulder blades away. Let's go twice more. Inhale, shoulder blades together, sitting up tall. Exhale, push away. Inhale, together. And exhale, push away. Nice. Release your shoulders, maybe give them a good shake. Block comes to the top of the mat. Staying in this position, you're gonna take your arms out to the side. We're gonna take sort of a seated cat and cow here, but adding a little bit of arm movements. So on an inhale, feel lifting up out of your sit bones, arching up to the sky. Your heart opens up, your arms open wide, and your shoulder blades come together behind you like we just practiced. And then we're gonna exhale to curve your spine. Your right arm will fold over the left, almost like you're giving yourself a really big hug. And then we'll inhale, opening up, finding that arch. And exhale, left arm on top this time. Finding a nice big hug. Inhale, open. And exhale, we curve. Inhale, we open. Exhale, give yourself a nice big hug with those arms. Maybe you wanna wiggle a little bit side to side here. And we'll release, coming to a neutral spine. And we're gonna make our way into our first downward dog. So hands come out, tuck your toes, send your hips up to the sky. And do what you need here at first. Maybe shake out your head, bend and stretch your knees. And then take a moment to settle, finding your strong downward dog. So your heels are releasing towards the mat. Shoulders are pushing down away from the ears. 
our tail is reaching in the opposite direction of our crown. And from this nice solid down dog, we'll inhale the right leg up, keep it straight and square, and then we exhale it forward, stepping in between the palms, finding a nice low lunge. And right away, let's inhale the arms up here, feeling nice and strong and solid in our low lunge. Continuing to breathe. Feel that your belly is still pulling in, engaged here, so we're not just spilling everything out the bottom, but we're still engaging through the legs, feeling that energy from the earth pull up to help support us. One more breath. And we'll exhale, bring both hands to the inside of your right leg. And then we're gonna take that back foot and rotate. So we're in sort of a side lunge here. Make sure your opposite heel or your right heel is firmly planted into the mat. And then you can just relax into that leg, keeping this knee open over your heel. And then nice and slow, we're gonna use our hands to help us straighten up and come over to bend into the left side. So finding skandhasana here, side to side. Push up through the hips, sinking into the right leg. And up, over to the left. And again, up to the right. And this time, come up, turning both feet parallel to one another, finding a wide-legged forward fold. So just let your body melt forwards and relax. You can sway a little bit side to side. Maybe bend and stretch through the knees. Again, doing what feels good here. Warming up the body. And now from this position, you're going to inhale, just finding a little long spine here. So reaching your crown and tail in opposite directions. Take your two piece fingers and interlace around your big toe. Inhale to re-extend through that long spine. And on an exhale, your elbows are gonna go in opposite directions, pulling that straight spine forward, deepening this forward fold. So really getting into the backs of the legs and the hamstrings here. Feel that your shoulders aren't creeping into your ears, but that they're still plugging down and away from your ears. Remembering that nice shoulder warm up that we did with our block. And from here, we'll release the hands, release the body and you're going to turn your feet out so your toes are now pointing towards the top corners of your mat and then we bend into 290 degrees with our legs like a second position plie here and just take a second to settle maybe sway side to side and then from here lifting engage through the core to come up arms are going to come to a cactus shape side to side fingers spread wide maybe you want to shift ever so slightly side to side and then find center and hold here. So this is goddess pose, definitely a very powerful posture. Sink a little bit lower into the hips, finding those two 90 degree angles. Repeating our affirmation here. I am strong, grounded, and sure of myself. So really feeling that energy from the earth pulling up into your body to support you. And from here, you can extend your arms out to the side. We're gonna take our right leg and straighten it out behind us. So I'm not mirroring you here. So your right leg extends out, finding warrior two here on the opposite side that we started. This is one of my favorite poses to feel confident, feel long and strong through the body. Standing up tall, reaching long through the arms, your belly is pulling in. Your left leg might be burning, but repeat that affirmation to yourself. And you're gonna take the left arm, take it down. Right arm reaches up for your extended side angle. Just a few more breaths here. Continuing to repeat your affirmation. I am strong, grounded, and sure of myself. One more breath. We'll bring the eyes down to the mat. Frame your front foot with your hands, stepping it back to find a plank. Holding here. So feel those shoulder blades pushing and wrapping around your back so that we're pushing the floor away, squeezing through the lower abs, squeezing through the glutes, finding one long line. 
and we're gonna exhale, lower down, inhale to push up. Again, like that, exhale down, inhale, push. Last one, exhale down, you got this. Inhale, push, and we'll lower all the way down onto our belly. Inhale, upper dog or cobra, and then exhale into your down dog. Again, take a second for yourself. Paddle through the feet. Take some deep breaths. And we'll get ready to go on the other side. So settling your heels. Inhale your left leg up to the sky. Exhale, low lunge, dropping that back knee. Right away, lifting up, finding a nice solid and strong position through the upper body here. Biceps are right beside the ears. Shoulders are pressing down, creating a long neck. Breathing deep. And we'll take those arms, place them in between your, on the inside, sorry, of your left foot, and then transferring, finding a turned out open lunge here. Getting ready for skandhasana now on the second side. So we'll push up and down into the right knee. And again, up and into the left. If you're feeling upward, you can lift your arms, pushing up, just using the strength of your legs to transition side to side. We've got one more set here. Inhale to push up. We exhale to take it down. Last one, inhale. Exhale down, you can release your hands, take it up, turn your feet in. Maybe you wanna walk your feet in ever so slightly closer to one another. And we're here for a few breaths, enjoying this stretch and this release before we really amp up our practice on the second side. Let's take a plie, bending both knees and stretch. And now we'll take our toe hold once more. So lifting up to a flat back, your two piece fingers wrap on the outside of your big toe. Inhale again to find that nice long spine. And we exhale to pull the elbows to the side, pull that straight spine down in between the legs. Feel that energy from the earth supporting you and helping you balance. Feel your shoulder blades moving in opposite directions here, pulling away, long neck, and we'll release. Turning out your feet now, coming to goddess pose once again. So finding that nice double 90 degrees with both of your legs and then lifting the body up, finding cactus. So here we are in our strong and solid goddess pose feeling really open and low to the floor. Let the hips sink one more inch, taking two more breaths. Focus on something unmoving in front of you, repeating your affirmation. I am strong, grounded, and sure of myself. And we'll open the arms out to the side, straightening your left leg, finding warrior two, making sure that your heels are in line with one another, so you may need to adjust a little bit after goddess but then re-extending into your warrior pose. If you feel that burn, remember that your brain wants to come out of it before your body really needs to. You are stronger than that impulse to straighten that front leg. You can do it. Repeating your affirmation as we come down into extended side angle, I am strong, grounded, and sure of myself. Taking two breaths. And release. Frame your front foot with your hands. Step it back to plank. Find a nice, strong, solid position here. Pushing the floor away, wrapping your shoulder blades. Abs are squeezing in, glutes are squeezing. Three push-ups, here we go. Exhale down, inhale, push. Your elbows can be wide or into your chest, whatever feels 
best for you. Last one. You got it. Pushing up and we'll come all the way down. Inhaling, finding your extension, cobra or up dog. Exhale, take it to down dog and we'll release the knees, relaxing into a child's pose. So we introduced quite a bit of power into some of those poses. Maybe you felt a little bit of burning through the muscles. So give them a chance to really relax here. Using that energy from the earth in this position to recharge your body. When you're ready, use your arms to walk yourself back up. We're going to take our legs and just swing them out in front. And you're going to grab your block. Just have it handy to the side here. We're going to do a small little core sequence just to get one last powerful movement sequence in before we start to cool down and release our practice. So I'm going to kind of amp up the intensity in stages. So if you feel really confident and solid in the stage that was before and you don't want to advance, you can just keep going with that version. Hopefully that makes sense. But just bringing your legs out in front of you nice and comfortably at a distance that you can maintain a nice long spine. So if you find that your feet are really close and we're rounding, just walk them forward a little bit so that we can get right on top of your sit bones here. And then you're gonna take your block and just like we did at the beginning of class, extend it out in front of you, but then you're gonna take your body and just take it back to about a 45 degree angle. And then from here, we're just gonna to twist to the right. Inhale, take it center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center, twice more. Inhale. And exhale. And you can keep going like this or lift your feet so your shins are 90 degrees with the floor now. And exhale left, again, inhale, exhale. Again, you can stay here or straighten your legs all the way to the right, to the left, last time to the right, and to the left. Very good, just come to another straight spine, feel long, feel that burning through the core. You can release your block to the side. We're gonna flip over onto the other side and just take it into a little stretch through the belly here. So cobra or up dog, make sure your shoulders are pushing down away from your ears so we're not sinking. Maybe you wanna walk your hands out a little bit. You can twist a little bit side to side here. And then we'll melt all the way down onto the mat. Opening up through the chest a little bit here, you're gonna take your right arm, place it at a 90 degree angle beside you, or another variation is to have your arms straight out to the side. So find whatever works for you, bending both knees in behind you, left hand places under your left shoulder and pushes into the mat so that you can roll onto your right side, finding a nice chest opener here. So I mentioned that in order to feel really confident and sure of ourselves, it helps to stand and go about your day in a nice, tall, elongated posture with an open chest. So this is a great pose to do, to just release some of the pectoral muscles in the front of the body and just release the shoulders back and down. So continue to breathe into the front of your chest here. And we'll roll 
back onto your belly nice and slowly, not too fast. Release the legs, release the arms, and right away we switch to the other side. So your left arm makes that 90 degree angle. Right hand is right under your shoulder. We bend both knees and then roll onto your left side this time, stretching into your left chest and shoulder and just enjoying that nice opening, enjoying that space that we're creating, continuing to breathe into it to find even more length. And we'll roll back onto our bellies and keep rolling in that direction to make your way onto your back. Nice and easy. And let's just take the knees, hug them into the chest, maybe lifting your forehead up to make yourself a tight little ball rolling side to side. And then we'll release your head back down onto the mat, pulling your knees into your armpits. So finding almost like a modified happy baby here. And then if you wish, coming into your full happy baby. Rocking side to side if you wish, or taking it right in the center, grounding into your mat and into the earth. Feel the length of your spine across your mat. So from your tailbone all the way up to the crown of your head. And we'll gently release the legs, opening up to Shavasana. We won't be here for too, too long today. Just taking a moment to notice the effects of your practice. And even though we're lying down, I still want you to feel nice and wide through the chest and open as if your shoulders are just melting away from your ears. So finding that confident stance through the body, even here in Shavasana even though we're passive, we're still able to cultivate that confident self. We'll take another five breaths here, continuing to repeat our affirmation, just like how we started class. I am strong, grounded, and sure of myself. Following your own pace of breath, Gently waking up the body, wiggling fingers and toes. Maybe rotating the ankles and the wrists, the arms and the legs. And then on your own time, making your way onto one side and pushing up to take a seat. <laughs> Let's try to find that same seated position that we had at the beginning of class. So if you were cross-legged, returning to that cross-legged place. If you were against a wall, returning to that wall. And once again, feeling your sit bones reconnect with the earth. Your hands can just rest atop of your knees. Breathing in and out. Flowing easily. And reconnecting with that energy from Mother Earth coming up through your sit bones and resonating through your body. Feel tall through the spine, open through the chest. Repeating one last time our affirmation, I am strong, grounded, and sure of myself. And I am grateful for this practice, so we will bring our hands together in front of our hearts, bowing forward. Namaste.
Thank you so much for doing this class with me. I hope you feel really open to the trust and feel that you can walk forward in the rest of your day with full confidence. Please don't forget to like and subscribe before you go and I will see you on the mat again very soon. Bye.